YouTube. How are you all doing out there? Hope you're okay. Oh my goodness, here you go. This is so funny. I thought this was a stone. <laughs> Guess what it is? It's some form of chocolate. It's either a peanut. It's got to be a peanut in there, hasn't it? Or a Malteser. Yeah, honestly, I kid you not. How funny. Sorry about that, YouTube. It's a message to, to not eat chocolates and sweets while I'm doing the angel cards. <laughs> oh dear, you have to laugh, don't you? Have to laugh. Because what happens if you don't laugh? You cry. That's right. Flexibility. Okay. Be flexible. Go with the flow. That's what the angels are asking you to do today. Go with the flow. I'm having a little look at the angel cards. Now, these are the ones we've got left. Of the readings that I'm doing, I'm only doing one reading for every angel card. We've only got these ones to play with. Celebration. There's going to be something to celebrate. Look, I've only got these to do and I've done the whole box. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh, I guess I should put another stone out, shouldn't I? Because now I've discovered that it's just a piece of chocolate. That's the closest thing to chocolate that I can find in this little box. It's my little box of new stones. Look at this. I've got all these to play with as well. Probably one just enough for each card. Have we got enough that I can count them yet? Nineteen. Okay, nineteen to go. Celebrate good times. That is like a warm heart. Celebration. And I'm probably going to have to cut that bit out because I'm not allowed to be doing the singing, I don't think, on the YouTube. Good news. Cause for celebration is here and it is time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labours. The angels want you to know that this is a light-filled time in your life. You have been working toward making changes and your intentions have now manifested into form. This is the time for you to fill your heart with a warm feeling of gratitude. There you go, which is what I was saying, it's a warm heart. The angels ask you through this card to hold strong in this gratitude. You're like a gardener who plants seeds and nurtures them because she has faith that her labours will yield new growth. Keep watering and tending to your seeds and you will soon see them sprouting through the surface. The angels are your co-gardeners who help you tend to your crop. Yes, this is what we have to think of, isn't it? When you plant a seed and you put it in the ground, you no longer have to do anything to it, do you? Apart from give it some water. That's literally it. And when you've got ideas that you've put out to the universe and you say, right, well, this is my plan, this is what I want to do, this is where I want to go, this is how I want to be, that's it. It's done. That's plant. The seed is planted. And then you just have to do what's absolutely necessary on your part and it just comes about miraculously. Really, it does, doesn't it? Now, when you look back in your life and you think, oh yeah, there was that time when I wanted to get a new job and I wanted to go and work in such and such an office or such and such a place. Well, you didn't have to do anything to create that place or that office, did you? you all you had to do was go and show up <laughs> and put yourself in the right place at the right time to meet the right people who were able to help you get to where you wanted to go right think about how little of that you had to create contemplation this is a very interesting card contemplation because this little frog here reminds me of a buddha it reminds me of somebody who's very wise contemplation love yourself give yourself some time for thought wholeness charisma appearance release and emotion the toad is a creature of two habits. Two habits? Oh no. <laughs> two habitats. <laughs> it is early for me to be doing this this morning. Forgive me, dear angel card watchers. The toad is a creature of two habitats, both the land and the deep watery pools, which would suggest that your life might be a little fragmented at the moment. It is a shy and solitary animal and as this is okay for a period of time and may work for the toad, it is not something that works very well for us humans. Being only seen for its outside appearance and often shunned for being ugly could imply that you're not very happy with your outward appearance. You need to learn to love yourself, warts and all, and magnify the persona and charisma that shines within you. When toad appears, it is suggesting that you are in an emotional pull 
and it is time for contemplation on what you want from life and where you go from here. It is asking you to work through and release some uncomfortable emotional issues. This may take you into a period of unsettledness and feeling a little out of sorts and fragmented. However, you will come out on the other side feeling much stronger, whole and confident about yourself and feeling as though you have got something to celebrate, even if you literally haven't got something up here to celebrate. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you can come through emotional healing and change, that is worth celebrating, isn't it? Or just that on its own. These little Mystic Mondays tarot cards are the very material cards. And these cards, the Lightseer cards, are very spiritual tarot cards. Now up to this point I've been doing this one first and then this one because this is new to me and I'm not really familiar with the symbology on the pictures. This one I've had about 22 years, I'd say since the year 1999, I've got those. And this one I've probably had since 2015. So it's actually not, doesn't, it's not that long ago, but it feels like a long time, it's seven years. This one I've had for two years and this one is brand new. So this is how I've been reading these cards, is in a spiritual way. So I'll start with a spiritual. This is what your guardian angels want you to know. Okay, because if you can believe this and you can keep flexibility in mind and the gratitude of heart, you will have something to celebrate. And then we work our way down to the material, right back down to the real world. Except that I was reading this one first, but now I'm going to swap and change because this is the most real world card of the lot of these ones that I've got here. This one over here is beyond. It's Michael Singer and the Untethered Soul. And it's beyond any of these things. He's out in the realm of the unexplained, going beyond yourself. This is all about self. This is about your spiritual self and guidance. This is your emotional and mental guidance. This is the link between spiritual and material. And this also is the link between spiritual material and this one mainly is material so when people go for a tarot reading often they just want the material answer they just want what's coming out of this pack but if they could look at the whole bigger picture they would get further with the information if they could recognize that there's more going on in life than you can see with your eyes and ears and this is what this card is asking you to recognize that there's more going on for a person than the outer casing okay so if you're looking at the person and not understanding anything about them just ignore the outer casing and look at what's coming out of their mouth and what are they saying and how they're being around you okay two of swords this isn't necessarily a happy situation now the reason i read this celebration card out first is because this is the end game okay this is what you've got to get through to get to the end game so i'm sorry about that the two of swords has come up which suggests some friction it suggests two people who are not working on the same page stalemate a crossroads making a difficult choice opposing ideas or options choosing the best route of action memory and thought the shadows here because it was upside down honestly when it came out of the pack and i've put it around the right way because i think this card is bad enough without having it upside down as well upside down it means a difficult choice confusion the angst and the unknown between a rock and a hard place and fear of commitment okay so this little toad is also sitting on a rock <laughs> celebration which either way you choose if you choose commitment or you choose freedom you're going to be celebrating it because it's going to feel like the right choice to you this card means you know that feeling of not knowing well it's time to make a choice and it may seem like you are between a rock and a hard place if you can't decide which way to go it's because you can't see the bigger picture yet the two of swords is whispering that you must move in one direction close your eyes and listen to your internal guidance and that is what i was saying about this card ignore what's on the outside ignore what you're looking at close your eyes and use your internal guidance if your intuition has fallen unusually silent it's asking you to trust yourself and your ability to discern and decide even in blindness you already know the best way forward 
So if you take away what you can look at and you've got crowing thoughts and you've got negative thinking and you've got things in your ears, you've still got your intuition to rely on, which is a higher guidance which you can call on any time. When you act, the future will reveal itself and it will help you to move towards your dream. Have faith that the universe is serving you the right experience. At the crossroads of duality, your analysis and overthinking will get you buried in the quicksand of a million possible endings. So find peace of mind by trusting your own judgment. And the little mantra here is, when blinded by the unknown, I can trust myself to move towards the light. Okay, trust yourself. You know how to take steps in the right direction. Of course you do. And then I'm going to look at the Mystic Mondays Tower. This is the most physical, material pack that we've got here. It's like, well, what's actually going to happen? What am I actually going to do? Here you go. So you've got a choice to make. And the choice that you make is going to give you cause for celebration. And you're going to be really happy that you made the choice. Because I don't see how you can make the wrong choice. Because once you've made the choice, you're living with the consequences. So what are you scared of? Oh, the Knight of Swords. Ouch. Okay, the Knight of Swords is intense focus. When there's a will, there's a way. Strong intentions and intense focus fall to the path ahead. Your eyes on the prize and nothing can stop you. If things have been slow, the Knight of Swords is a sign it's about to get a lot busier around here. Your communication skills are on point and you are able to effectively convey a message. Elevate and sharpen your mind by surrounding yourself with like-minded people to share your opinions with. Headstrong and full force throttle on a passionate endeavour is admirable. Just be wary of long-term effects that shortcuts can make. Rushing projects can mean overlooking quality control in the long run. Take responsibility over your actions and how that may impact others. Keep an eye on the quality of your creations and enjoy the process. Life is a journey after all. Okay, so all the stress and angst and grief you're currently suffering, I'm asking you to enjoy it because one day you'll look back. Having made the right decision, I think, oh my goodness, thank goodness I'm not in that place anymore. You know, so enjoy this place for allowing it to give you something to compare to when you've reached your period of celebration and you've moved forward and you've improved what you're doing and you've moved away from the angst if you hadn't experienced the angst you wouldn't really be able to fully appreciate the peace and calm that's about to come into your world when you feel pain simply view it as energy let go and give room for the pain to pass through you interesting let me know if any of that means anything for you thanks youtube thanks for watching like subscribe comment take care bye for now